Hello. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, hello. Yes. I'm here with Finn. He is. Is that yummy? More. More than no more. more. He's eating an ice cream. He's really enjoying it. I have some really exciting news that I want to share with you today. For the past seven months, I have been working on an app which has just released. Um, I'm not going to blather on too much because I have to say I'm really excited at the moment and I'll probably just go on and on about it. So instead, after this little clip, I'm actually going to share kind of the instructional video that is within the app that shows you exactly how to use it, all the features, um, yeah, basically what it does. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. It's been a lot of work, but also really, really rewarding to actually see it all come together. I've had so much feedback in just the past kind of 12, 24 hours of it being out and people are really enjoying it, they're really finding it useful, really, really helpful. And so yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you. Hello. I share it with you here on YouTube. I will leave the link to buy it below. It's only out on oh, iTunes, oh. so for Apple um, phones and iPads oh. at the moment, but I am working on an Android version very, very soon. So I really hope you like it. If you do download it, please do leave me a rating and a comment hello in the App Store because it really, really does help um, just to get Apple to kind of recognize it and push it. Um, yeah, so for me and this little guy, we're going to say goodbye for now. Say bye. bye. See you soon. Bye. Welcome to the My Fussy Eater app. My name is Kira and I'm the founder of MyFussyEater.com, a food blog packed full of healthy eating recipes that the whole family will enjoy. It's been nearly four years since I started my website and the feedback that I've had from my readers has been incredible. There is nothing better than hearing how my recipes have helped improve your child's eating and I absolutely love to see your photos on social media of my recipes. However, for a little while now, some of you guys have mentioned that you find it a bit difficult to save the recipes that you see online on my blog. And so I've created an app that gives you instant access to over 100 of the most popular recipes from my blog. The recipes can be filtered by meal type, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, cakes and bread and drinks. But you can also filter them based on specific diets, dairy, egg, gluten and nut free, making it much easier to find suitable recipes if you have allergies or intolerances in your family. You can also search the app for recipes using individual ingredients. Within each recipe you have the option to view it the standard way, so with all the ingredients and method together or by cards, which breaks the recipe down into individual steps, showing each ingredient needed for that step only. In the settings section, you can choose how the ingredients are measured. So either UK, that's grams, milliliters, or US, which is cups and ounces. Within this app, I wanted not only to make it easy to access and view your favorite family recipes, but I also wanted to build a meal planner. In this section, you can plan your breakfast, lunch, and dinners for an entire week for your family. To add a recipe to the meal planner, simply click on the plus button next to the day and search or filter through the recipes as normal. Once you have added a recipe, you can assign it to a specific meal and also alter the servings depending on how many people you are cooking for. To view the full recipe, click on the image. If you change your mind and want to remove a recipe, just swipe to delete it from the meal planner. You can also move a recipe between days by holding and dragging it. The button to the top right of the screen allows you to completely reset the meal planner or to add all the ingredients from those recipes to a shopping list. The shopping list itself can be viewed alphabetically by ingredient or by recipe and it automatically calculates the quantity of each ingredient needed. You can completely delete an ingredient from the list by swiping left and you can also tap on the ingredient to add a strike through. The button to the top right allows you to delete the whole shopping list 
or just those ingredients that have a strike through. It also gives you an option to send and save the shopping list to somewhere else on your phone, including your notes. I really hope this app helps you in planning and shopping for your family meals and I can't wait to hear your feedback.